Hi everybody. Today I will read you these、uh, articles. I find it, I find it interesting on the internet. So I think this will、uh, very meaning to you as long as, as well as for me. Eight reasons why you might be procrastinating. Are you procrastinating? Are you putting off what needs to be done now? Procrastination is common. Most people do a little of it. In small doses, it might not be that bad. But if you are regularly procrastinating, you are failing to fulfill your full potential while increasing your stress and damaging your relationships. We tend to assume. That procrastination only impacts on the procrastinator, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Your procrastination may impact on your family, reduced family time, colleagues, colleagues who are impacted by your failure to meet deadlines, your managers who is leading a team which is. Underperforming customers who are receiving inferior customer service services. If you are regularly procrastinating, procrastinating, people cannot trust you to do what you agree to do. You are failure to do what you need to do when it needs to be done has knock-on effects for many people. Procrastinating requires you to pay a price. That price usually comes in the form of failures to accom- accomplish your goals. Stress-related health issues and poor relationships. So, given all the negatives associated with pro- procrastination, why are you still doing it? Stop. Procrastinating, take action on your most important goals and start enjoying the results you design by overcome overcoming proc- procrastination. Learn powerful strategies to get back on track for your goals with stop procrasti- procrastinating. Was it in a book? Why you might be procrast pro- I'm sorry, procrastinating. One number one lack of purpose, passion and enthusiasm for life comes from having a clear sense of who you are and what you wish to accomplish. It is this, it is this sense of purpose. Which motivates you to get out of bed in the morning and take on the challenges of the day ahead. When you you are finding these things tough, you merely have to remind yourself of what you are trying to achieve, and you can find the resolve to push through. Even the boring and mundane tasks become tolerable. Because you can see how they help your progress to- towards towards your bigger goals. When you lack a clear sense of purpose, your resolve weakens. Without clear sense of purpose, individual tasks have little significance. Completing these tasks may keep people at your back. But you fail to see any positive benefit. Procrastinating seems like the natural thing to do, so you leave these tasks to the last minutes until you absolutely have to do them. You will work late or come in early, or both, just to get it done. Quality suffers, and others. Have to deal with the delays, but as far as you are concerned, you did what was asked of you. Number two, 
you don't like what you do. If you are doing work you love, it will never really feel like you are working. The enjoyment and pleasure derived from it make it makes it feel like a hobby rather than a chore. 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 I'm sorry. Let me look up this. Chore. You feel like you are fulfilling your purpose. There are little diffi- difficulty in motivating yourself. However, the the opposite is also true. If you really don't like your job, you see it as a burden. You don't feel motivated, and you would do almost anything to avoid it. While a sense of purpose will have help you push through mundane tasks. If you find your entire job, or most of it, mundane, mundane, mundane or mundane, 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 then it is hard not to start procrastinating. Rastao, what does it mean? Oh. As a human being, you have a desire to grow and improve yourself. A sense of challenge is required in order to get the best out of yourself. Challenge requires that you improve your knowledge and skills to help you meet your objectives. It is the challenge that allows you a feeling of feeling of accomplishment. Whenever you miss a goal or objective, uh, too often people remain in the one job or serving the same customers because it is comfortable and familiar. The downside of this is that there is lack of challenge. When you do not feel challenged by your work, you soon lose motivation. You think, what's the point? I could do this with my eyes closed, and so you start procrastinating. Per burn out number number four burn down. This means that uh, when you are exhausted, you are very tired. You don't want to do anything. Pressure and challenge can help you to get the best out of yourself. However, like all th- good things, moder- moderation is required. Intermittent periods of rest and recuperation are required to re- recharge the batteries. Without these rest periods, you would experience continuous pressure, something that which the body, body and mind. Are not designed to cope with for a long periods. The result of continuous pressure is stress and burned out. If you are ex- experiencing burned out, you will be lacking energy and are more likely to start pro- procrast- procrastinating due to lack of energy and motivation. Number five, inability, inability to prioritize. Inability mean a, uh, mean a uh, that you can do something you can't cannot do something, like inability to see. That mean your you have a problem with your eyes. Sometimes you take on too much work. You don't like to say no, so you accept any task that is asked of you. Rather than focus on one task at a time, you try to please everybody by jumping from one task to another. The end result is that you get nothing done. Before long, you have developed a large to-do list, which is frightening to look at. 
The thought of completing the doodle lids is so overwhelming and painful that you have no idea where to begin. You really don't want to think about it. So, in order to avoid it, you distract yourself with meaningless, meaningless tasks. This uh, allows you to feel busy, uh, but. You get nothing accomplished. Anxiety, anxiety means worry, worry uh, a lot. Anxiety can lead to procrastinating as you fear how the the end product might be perceived. Maybe you will lose the sale. People will laugh at your presentation, or your boss will think think. That you are worthless, and you will be one step closer to this dismissal. Dismissal mean get fired, right? That's why dismissal. Anxiety leads you to focus on the negative potential con- consequence to the extent that they feel real. You may feel. That it it is better not to try than to face the consequences of underperforming at the task. Vindictiveness, vindictiveness mean what? I never seen. Vindictiveness, vindictiveness. You may dislike someone so much. That you are willing to go out of your ways to inconvenience them, if they require you to complete a task, you may choose to delay completion completion to the last possible moment to inconvenience them. While this may well hurt, hinder them, it will also impact on your stress levels and on others that are dependent. On the work getting done, you end up and antagonizing. What's that? Antag antagonizing. You end up end up and to uh, antagonizing a lot of people just to inconvenience one person. You don't n- number eight. You don't know how to be lazy. You may have been taught that laziness is always a bad thing, and in its purest form, this might be true. However, laziness, if applied correctly, can be a great advantage. Effectiveness, where you aim to complete the task with the least effort for the maximum reward. Is a form of laziness. You don't want to do anything. You don't have to do. This kind of laziness leads to improvements, as it's not about procrastinating. It's about getting things done properly, but with the least effort. If your idea of laziness is sitting back. With your feet up, uh, hoping that someone else will magically do the work for you while you take the credit, you need a re- reality check. This type of pro- pro- procrastinating serves nobody. You don't have to be ashamed to be lazy. You just need to apply your laziness in a Intelligent manner, stop procra, stop procrastinating. Take action on your most important goals and start enjoying the results you designed by overcome overcoming procrastination. Learn powerful strategy to get back on track for your goals with well goals with a、uh, stop procrastinating. Conclusion, I mean、uh, summary. If you find yourself pro- pro- procrastinating, 
there are many potential reasons why you are doing so. Procrastination is not something you are stuck with. It can be overcome by taking the time to understand why you are procrastination. You can then find the best cause of action to ensure you don't repeat the behavior. All it takes is a little self-reflection, honesty, and willingness to make the improvements. Okay, goodbye.